Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a poster using PowerPoint. First we open PowerPoint and we click on new blank presentation. We go to layout and then we select blank and save the document in a folder or a name. Make sure to write a specific name and click save. We go to insert tab and click on shapes and add any round rectangle one round it rectangle and draw it anywhere on the screen make sure to draw it on top don't worry about the position right now and write information meeting for example and then select it and change the size to 32 and select bold Go to format and write height, change the height and the white, height to 1 and the white to 9. And move it a little bit on top, go to insert and add a text box. Write your text, for example the location, address or any information you want to add in order to make it easier for people to reach your location or to know the location of your poster. Now make the first line bold, change the font size to 20, select bold and center them all. You can select them and click on center, you can do that for each line. Move it below the information meeting. And then you can write 2016 meeting times and change the size and click on bold. We select the size 24 for this one and we go to insert and add another text box. And in this one we write for more information like call your name, you can write anything your name is Dave, Jack or anything and write your phone number you can resize it and move it down a little bit in the bottom of this page next we go to insert and create a table 2 times 4 I change the them. I select uh, light style 2, accent it, and click on banded columns and move it below 2016 meeting by dragging it down. You can write date and the time. For example, we write Tuesday. April 12th and for the time I'm going to write example 7 o'clock or 7.30 p.m. We do this for all of them Now we select the date and the time and 
we center them. You can select the dates and click on bold, like Tuesday, April, and other dates. And we can select on the corner in time to fit it right in the middle like we did on date. You can't drag it to move it, it would miss out. The only thing you can do is to simply just click on the fit button on the right side of the time. Here it is. See? Now it's perfectly and uh, correctly fitted in the middle. You can go to layout now and select on the date and time. You can change the height and the weight. Height 1.6 and you can center vertically. Now we select on information meeting and change the color of it to intense effect light green and now after changing that one we go to design and uh, go to the color from the drop down menu write poster uh, on the name after creating a new dim color and click on accent 4 not that one actually accent 6 yes green and click on more colors and write for the red 30 for green 200 and for blue we will write 600 not 60 and we click save we go to file save to save the document go to insert and create a new word art. Select the gold one and write Cedar Trails Park. Move it on the down. We will check the spill later. And we go to home tab and change the size to 40. Now we go to format, text effects, reveal, and we click on 3D options. From here we can change the height, height, angle, and other uh, 3D uh, formats. We select the light sunshine. We go to insert and add a picture. I have downloaded this one from Google. You can add your own and remove the background. Make sure to mark the places you want to keep and mark the ones you want to remove. I'm moving it on the downside and I'm selecting the parts that I want to keep. So the background will be transparent. What basically transparent means is that uh, the text will appear behind it. You can add as many points as you want. And now it looks perfect. We can keep changes. And we can change the color to light green. Accent 6. And we click on the size of it from the size menu and change and select the lock aspect ratio and change the height and the white. We can rotate it around to be on the right side. We can go to home to copy and paste to make a duplicate of it. Move the other one to the right side and the second one to the left side and resize it perfectly to match your 
sin. You can flip it horizontal, or if you don't want to do that, you can actually do that manually. If you move it to the center and drag and drop it, it will do the same, but that will uh, not fit perfectly. But still, you can do that. I'm going to show you the other one as well. As you can see, everything is matched fitted perfectly. If you go to rotate, here the flap vertical and horizontal. Now we save the document. In the final step, we can export it as PDF XPS document. Don't forget to change your name to write it. For some reasons, I don't want to show you my first and real last name. And we should move the Cedar Trail Park a little bit on the downside. Now we can go to File and export it as a document. Click on Publish to finish everything up.